Hi there, I have two journals um, I'd like to share with you today. Um, both di really different, just different styles. Um, this is in a carpet bagger style. And I'll show you this. I might need to put it onto another video because I don't know if my phone will, or my camera will manage to record both. But that's this one. I've just put journal and believe here in a metal plate. And the one that we're going to look at first is this one. She's a fabric covered journal. She measures approximately 5 by 7 inches with a 2 inch spine. I made the covers with recycled um, packaging which is equivalent to a light chipboard weight. So she's quite firm. The cover itself, there's tapestry fabric, upholstery fabric underneath. And then I was lucky enough, I've got a sari that I've been dismantling for a while and I had pieces and I wasn't sure what I was going to do with them and it just caught my eye and I thought it would lend itself to this little book. So over the tapestry fabric this greeny gold is actually from the, the sari as you can see and I've used trim from the sari. Uh, this is from the top of the sari, this is in the bottom and then this is from the belt across the waist that the sari had and again I've used some of the trim down the side and embellished it here and I've left it blank as far as titles or anything else goes because I think she's quite ornate as it is and she's different from me in that regard because she's quite bright but I really really like her and I had such fun making her um, so closure or she's closed with bulldog clips and she has various, whoops, oh, I'm still in frame. She's got various charms that I'll, I'll mention throughout the when we look through. So on these bulldog clips is a key, there's a little flower, there's some beads, there's a brass coloured charm that says with love, and then there's this little fun, I think these are just great fun, just filled with little gems, this little plasticky glassy ball. I suppose it's plastic more than glass and it just matches the colour of the trim perfectly and I just thought it was a lot of fun and it just goes so nicely with the journal. So as I said she's 5 by 7 she has 164 plus pages, three signatures, there's some tea and coffee dyed throughout. I'll mention the kits that I've used when I come to them if if I've used it. I've not used many in this one actually. I've tried to use my stash a lot in this one. So as I open it up, first page, I'll check them in frame. I will put the link to the kit below for this one. Um, I've got a feeling it's a feminist garden but I will put the link below. I had lots of fun uh, using lots of lace trim and pieces of lace that I've saved and that I have. That's a blouse that I've used previously, this one, this one here. And it's on top of just some muslin. And I made a tag, it's a pocket. And inside, if you pull this little owl, there's just a little card and it says the story begins. I've put a little flower on there and stamped some butterfly in the back. It's been backed onto coffee dyed paper. And I just think that charm's just lovely. So that fits in there and that's the pocket. There's also a pocket here and that's what this pink is for so that you remember you've got an inside pocket. And I've just put picture from Pinterest, some sari ribbon and I've backed it onto a coffee dyed index card. There's loads of journaling space in this book. I've just put, um, layered some flower cut out with some just some little gems, I've done some stickling, I've put it on top of a piece of lace that I've had, I fussy cut out the bird from the page underneath just so it looked as though it was on top. It's lovely paper and again some lace trim, the same lace trim I've put on this side, Bird of Beauty and then when you 
open this one up. I put vintage ladies throughout this one. Some coffee dyed. The vintage ladies have all been printed. Um, I don't do them myself. I get them printed outside, so they're all on good quality matte photo, photo, photographic paper. Gosh, I couldn't get that out. Paper, lined paper, some um, stenciling, small card for journaling, lace, and then at the back, I've just put a piece of vellum printed. It's got a girl on there. And a little journaling card and it says it's a beautiful day and this side says memories. Just place for you to write or to stick a photograph. This one says story. More stenciling. To hold in page and I've made it into a stitched all round. Lots of stitching in this one. Made it into a pocket. Taking another piece from the sari trim. A little bit of lace. And then just some ephemera to write on, coffee dyed paper, a tag, this is parchment paper and stenciling doily, ledger that I've resized paper, a little tuck spot, this came with the kit and that's just some paper that I had a moustache I thought went well with the colours and I've sewn them back to onto coffee dyed. Now this little pocket, I've put washi to reinforce for going in and out of the pocket. A little journaling card that I thought went nicely, it's quite cute. Shades of pink. Music. Another pocket. Some nice staining there. Different stitch. Some lace trim. There's a couple of different laces there. And it's on top of some muslin. And a piece of ephemera stitched round stitched round and backed onto coffee dyed index and coffee dyed paper. Some more stenciling, gold trim, stenciling, little pocket and it's just again paper from my stash with some ribbon and sewn onto some coffee dyed paper. This is a pocket, I think this is either I always get it confused if it's Karen's vintage graphics or if it's Christy Art but I will put a link below. A little pull out tag there and I've just made that a little journaling card. I've actually stitched some um, muslin onto this just to reinforce these centre pockets. There's one in the middle of the, each of the three signatures and it's got a nice quote at the back. It says, the kiss of the sun for pardon, the song of birds for mirth. One is nearer God's heart in a garden than anywhere else on earth. It's lovely. Stencil index card, another pocket, and this was um, a snippet, I had done a, a, a snippet roll and I just cut it up and put a piece there. So it's various lace, trims, a nice journaling card, and a nice little tag, I've just stamped it, cut it out, and it's on coffee dyed paper. So nice stitching again. Stitching here because on this side I've got another piece of the snippet roll and I've got a little flower. Charm. The pocket, or yep, the other side of the bag, and it's actually a card, journal card, and it says on it a book card. It says on it library card. Gosh, no beauty shines brighter than that of a good heart. This um, this whole book just makes me smile. Really, she's just got a real feel good factor about her for me. Another large tag, I've just clipped it on with a paper clip, coffee dyed stitched at the back and she's got a nice pretty pink flower charm and a little pink dangle. I hope you can see it, it's really cute. Edith Holden page, I've stitched it all round, made a pocket. Some more trim from the sari. Another piece of ephemera just to journal on. A large tag, just paper that I had in my stash and I've put it again, sewn it onto coffee dyed paper. Some more tracing paper, stenciling. Another quote, yesterday's memories, today's promise, tomorrow's hope. Journaling space lined paper, stencil. And this is the back and the back's got a pocket. So each, the inside cover 
and the outside or the back cover, sorry. So the front, inside and the back inside covers have each got pockets and each of the signatures have pockets back, back and front. So this one's another lovely picture I thought. Went really nicely. There's a, there's a tint of a flower there. And again, she's on coffee dyed paper for journaling. So that's the first signature. She's really chunky. <laughs> and this one, this one was the green and the lemon trim mainly. This one I've done pink and gold to pick up the pink roses. And if you pull this little tab, there's some lovely flowers and an index card at the back to journal on inside. Bird of Beauty again. Another piece to journal on. I've stenciled. Another pocket down here, just with a little cart. I just used that and I've made stitched round again onto coffee dyed and stenciled, left it plain. And then another piece of nice card from my stash with some lace and a doily, another lady with vellum and another tag, again stitched coffee dyed paper. This sheet says journey, lined for writing on, tracing paper, Edith Holden, some lace trim and another advert at a vintage advert and I've sewn it onto coffee dyed paper. Again, coffee dyed paper stitched around the tag. And it's just got a bit of stenciling there. Heart, I've used as a tuck spot. I had it in my stash, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Same as this, I've had this little card for a long time in my stash and I just thought it went really nicely there. And I'll just put a flip out piece of paper to journal on. In there. Another doily, ledger paper, the next bag, and another card, lovely gold leaves and flower. And it's just the date and it's a journaling spot. Fits nicely. And then in this page, I'm I thought I would do, I've done a flip down so that you can journal on here, it's all stitched on, it's stitched round and then I've done a belly band at the bottom, another piece from the, the sari and the paper actually slips out so you can either have it flat and reduce bulk, you can reduce bulk throughout this book by taking out all, a lot of the ephemera and the beads and things because that's what's making the, the book bulky obviously. But I just think it's nice to have, to give you that option um, and to supply enough journaling options for you. So that's got several and this is nice quality paper. Parchment here and a parchment here and I've got a bit of thicker coffee dyed paper there and another plain piece at the back. And it just fits nicely. I don't, why is it it's always when you're on camera? I love fingers and thumbs. Sorry. So, it fits nicely in there and tucks away. And another piece of the trim, the lace pink trim. Nice flower, piece of lace across the pocket. And this is a tag that I've made and I used, it was Tracy Fox for inspiration. Because it's tea bag. That's tea bag paper in the centre window pocket. And I just watercoloured it after I stamped it. So. I'll put Tracy's channel down before, sorry, down below. I have done that before. I do like um, her channel. And I think it just turned out lovely. Works well there. Some more gold trim, stenciling. Another one of these pockets in the centre. So another little journaling card. Again, stitched all round, reinforced with the muslin. Stenciling here. Nice little tuck, corner tuck, piece of ephemera, my stitch round. I just thought the colours worked. Another tag, again, coffee dyed. Another pocket, and I've used another piece of the snippet. This one had more um, fabric that's got linen, it's got layers of lace underneath too, different layers, and then layers of lace on top. Another piece of ephemera, and another piece of ephemera. All sewn and on coffee dyed paper, music, another bag, and a nice lady to 
journal on. So I'm sewing there, I've just ruffled up some ribbon, I've put it on top of the snippet and I thought that cute little duck went really well, or little bird I should say, with the pearl and I thought that went really well with all the colours in the kit. Cute. So the doily again, stenciling. The other pocket, the other side of the Edith Holden page, I've put a daisy flower there and just a checklist and another tag, both coffee dyed paper stitched on and the poem's quite nicely seen there for June. Some tracing paper and here I've just done an altered paper clip. Another one, this one's in shades of just pearl and white bead. It's quite textured, it's been decoupaged with a napkin. I do like that. A little bit of sari ribbon at the top. And it says, sometimes said poo, the smallest things take up the most room in your heart. Oh. Nice card again, some more stenciling. And then the back of the second signature, and there is another vintage lady with flowers across her lap. Trailing down, anyway. So the third signature, this is bold trim from the sari. And if you pull out the tag, some flowers again on the index card but you can put anything in there they're really well hidden some lined paper to journal with stenciling card with some lace trim sewn on another vintage lady here another piece of ephemera and it's been stitched again onto coffee dyed paper another one another coat don't cry for me for where I go music is born that's back Stenciling, tissue paper, the other pocket from the Edith Holden, some more trim from the Sari. Nice stencil, it's a card that I had left in my stash, I think that's Artemis. And just a piece of paper again to give more journaling space. Some nice paper, it's parchment, ledger, another envelope. Uh, or the bag, it's the end of the bag, sorry, I keep calling them envelopes. And I've just put a little bow here with some trim, some lace, stamped a flower, sewn round it. And I've made it into just a few pages, a little booklet. I didn't put too many pages on there because I didn't want to make it too bulky. And it just tucks in there to close. But I thought that was quite cute, really. Some more of the snippet that I had used and a little white enamel flower this time. Some lace, another pocket, again some of the other snippet that was more fabric than lace. Coffee dyed paper sewn on at the back, stenciling, tuck pocket, coffee dyed stitched on there. Centre of it, that's another one of these lovely images and another journaling card in there, again, all stitched. And again, muslin stitched both sides to reinforce. And there's another quote here, the air laughs and flowers. Stenciling, stenciling, some trim. Another pocket with a piece of the snippet roll. And a tag that I've just stamped. Stitched a nice pretty stitch round. And a piece of ephemera to journal on. Some music, the other side of the bag, and I've put another um, little booklet in here. And I've just resized one of the sheets from the front. It says this book belongs to, and it's got quite a few more pages in there. And I've put a library card at the back, resized it, and the reason this is sticking out. But to remind me to tell you, I've left a little secret tuck spot in there and I've put a little tag in it. So I thought that was cute. Oh, and in the centre of the signatures, she's sewn together with crocheted thread and I just put, I had some of these little beaded charms that I just used. I thought they went really well and they close quite easily on the book. 
some more. This is all from the sari that I've used on this book. It's beautiful, I think, the colour. Um, a large tag I just made. You can see I almost burned the paper. You can actually see it there. But I just think it gives character, so I wanted to use it in the oven. Some more tracing paper. It's the last paper clip. This one's in shades of well, rose red to match the flowers on the tag. And I've stamped the back of that with lines so it makes it easier to write. And another pocket, Daylight Dreams. Some pieces of lace underneath. And again, back to onto coffee dye paper. And then it's the last page. And there's your last lady. She's beautiful. All sewn round. And remember, my stitching's not, and you know, I'm not a seamstress. Nothing's perfect. They're all handmade, hand cut out. So nothing is perfect. It's a junk journal. And I think that's what makes it special, really. Some nice lace here. And then at the back, there's a teeny pocket. It says, it's okay if you've got to travel alone sometimes, you're brave enough. And I've just made a little journaling card again, index card. And another little, that's a tag, sorry, this is a teeny weeny journaling card. And I've not put any more in the back, because you can see the paper and the trim. And then if you check, as I have said, So and then in the back pocket, as I said before, just pull that out and I've just used some Tim Holtz clips to secure it and a bit of texture and colour at the top. And that's her. So she's really chunky but I, I think you can see she's got a lot in there that you could remove uh, and make it less so and there's plenty of journaling space. Um, she's totally different from what I thought I was going to do. Uh, but I loved her the more that I was doing it. I really had fun just um, not thinking about it because I think that's the biggest mistake I know that I make is that I overthink everything and I worry about it. And with this one, I just love the fabric and I like go and have fun. So, I hope you really like her. And thanks again so much for watching. Please feel free to leave any comments or suggestions below and if you enjoy the video I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.